during this time because um and even when the pandemic is over we still have to come together and help each other you know what i mean we have to we have to come more stronger than we were man because this this has taught a lot 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 of things to the humanity we yes. need to learn from this and we need to come stronger than what we were before for real for real we we really need to. and and i like what you said this humanity we have to stick together because you know all these things going on it makes me really appreciate life even more like like just being at my home just like what you said i haven't shot a video in a long time because you you're not allowed to do this you're not allowed to do that so i haven't shot a video in a while i have i've been to studios i i record only like two songs since the pandemic so you know what i mean so i understand what you're saying but put on the side of that now what are some of the influence that you have in music like from artists to music what are what what artists influence you like you have on, from america jamaica india mm -hmm. wherever so being being a stoner crew like being a hip hop crew we we got inspired by the american rap scene like most of the west coast artists i would like to say like park uh, snoop ice cube and dr dre and all these guys the whole whole culture you know what i'm saying that is where i started from and i started following more west coast artists but being a stoner crew we we listen to a lot of reggae music also we listen starting from bob we listen to damien marley capleton sizzla stony mo and and lot of artists man lot of artists so it's it's been for us like reggae is also been a part of our music so that's why we we also get being a hip hop crew we also get involved with the reggae uh, reggae scene in india so that is what we would like to spread the smoke and peace and love brother that is what we like to do that song you shot in in in, in goa that's fire bro legalize it <laughs> yeah 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 no, legalize it in here legalize it so tell me how that song come about and how you come with the title and why you choose that title so in india it's not legal you know bro the weed is not uh, the marijuana is not legal uh, but under certain purpose it's like not uh, legal for recreational purpose it's now legal for some medical purposes but it's not legal for recreational purposes purpose but still marijuana india is a land of ganja you know and marijuana is sold everywhere in every state so it is quite it was quite difficult for us because when we like hang around and chill with our friends smoke a doobie we always get fucked up by the cops you know what i'm saying the focus always hit the door so we we were like how how much how much days how much time is going to be we have to like go through the same kind of thing same kind of thing and we wanted a voice to put the legalize legalization movement out and we re really needed a voice at point of time so i thought uh, let me be the voice and raise the awareness of marijuana so people would at least understand in the coming next 10 years you know what i'm saying they would understand today but in the coming next 5 years 10 years they would obviously uh, understand the importance of marijuana and the benefits of marijuana too so well, that is know, what my idea was and the then research, we sorry to cut you off if you do the research you know that india is one of the leading country that use marijuana in medicines in lots of their medicines Yeah 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 you know the government so, grows it to use medicines do it. google it it's all it's also men mentioned in the uh, books of ayurveda and things like that so it's been a part of our tradition it's been a part of our custom but still due to some uh, ndps uh, acts you know what i'm saying it's still illegal and uh, i don't think it's a section a drug it cannot be called as a drug it's a herb so i would request the government to look after this matter and legalize marijuana soon man yeah for real for real for real i appreciate that for real so i would um, like to i would uh, so, sorry but uh, i would like to appreciate my fans first who are watching me right now all my all my people from india or like all around the world because they also support the legalization movement with me and being a voice just being a voice is not enough when you get the support from the people then it's that makes a point that being a voice for a movement is worth it you know it's just legalized in new york like new york the state of new york you can smoke now it's legal yeah man you can so, even smoke so far, on the street so many states in america they have like started legalizing marijuana in their state and i think probably in lot of countries it's it's getting legalized and 
soon india will also legalize it i guess and because india is the land of ganja man there is a lot of things there are different strains and yeah man you know we are blessed yes i know so i want to ask you um how but, was the how but was the news okay go ahead but i got to give a big shout out to the Jamaican cannabis too, man. Yeah, man. Cannabis from, from Bob Marley crazy days, in Jamaica. From Bob Marley days, we've been campaigning for legalizing marijuana from <laughs> way before I wanna, that. I want to like travel and smoke. Like every time we smoke in Mumbai, we have to look look up for cops here and over there. Even the people, if they come to know you're smoking weed, they will call the cops and like put you behind the bars. But I want to just travel out and like travel to a country where marijuana is legalized. Jamaica. I want like smoke a doobie over there with the people to know how how does it feel to smoke in a legalized country because Holland, we have been smoking here. Here. where I'm at where I'm in Holland it's legal you can buy it smoke it in the shop smoke it on the street you're good in the parks also Jamaica now it's legalized you can have in Jamaica you can have they say you can have 10 trees now 10 you can oh, grow that's 10 that's great trees. man everybody can grow 10 trees in Jamaica right now mm mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, every time every time we smoke a joint we feel like we are doing a crime, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those days are over, man. Over, over. So, I want to ask you this. Um, uh, how is the music scene in 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 Mumbai and 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 India like um is it is it difficult to break through as an artist if you're not doing Bollywood style of music? So, yeah, it's it's it is difficult. to come up as an independent artist in india because there is very less labels less music labels that support independent music there is a lot of music labels that support uh, the bollywood music the pop music you know what i'm saying yeah the bangra music culture there is a bangra pop culture that is there and there is there is a lot of music even carnatic music and everything is there so but these are like segregated into like small communities so this community would be listening to this kind of music and this uh, community will be listening to this kind of music so what we are trying to build up is we are trying to build up the independent music scene and we are trying to do everything on our on our own so even people would get inspired by us and even they will start doing music on their own and like put it out so the, the music scene is it's growing but the process is slow but it's definitely growing and um what kind of what... What kind of platforms do you have? You you still use? Uh, um, does India have their own music platforms, like where you can you can upload your music in India and in only only for Indians? Uh, do you have any app in India where it says, okay, this is what all Indians can go and find your music? So there is a lot of a uh, lot of music platforms uh, in India. So they also like uh, they don't sign artists. They just uh, put the music in their uh platform and promote it but they don't produce or uh, support any sign or any artist and produce their content it's just like a distribution service that they do for the artist okay so it's more like a distribution you put your music up there you're responsible yeah. for it you have to put everything out i saw also um in your bio you do you have like a a movie like like movie i want you to talk about that are you you guys are into movies too because when i read your bio you're into music movie and collaboration and stuff like that are you doing movies so so we never came into hip hop thinking that we'll be doing movies and things but uh, we we actually we we were a part of a couple of movies because they want they wanted the realism of hip hop because you cannot bring a guy uh, like make him dress up like a rapper and try to like be yeah. like a rapper that, that is not possible bro because we we are in the scene and we we are into hip hop so we know uh, what is it to be like a rapper but this this doesn't work with the indian cinema right so we were actually called to be the real part to be ourselves to do the acting we we were not playing any other character we were just being ourselves in the movie okay. it was just like me tony being tony uh being dope delic you know what i'm saying yeah. so that is what so it's not a like we never planned for this but uh, you know op- opportunity strikes and you got to grab it man that exactly. is that is and and in india the movie scene uh, compared to the music scene the music scene is uh, a bit low from and the movie scene has a very large large audience you know what i'm saying because yeah. people love going to theaters people like 
always stay busy with the entertainment and movie is the first entertainment for them okay so i want to i want to ask you now like um do you have like an album or ep dropping soon or are you just in the studio working so i've been the uh, i'm putting my solo ep soon i'm working on a solo ep that i'm doing and plus there's a lot of collaborations that i'm doing with people uh, people from other countries and there's a lot of collaboration that, that i've been doing in india also so i'm just waiting for the right moment to put out because if see putting the content right now is something else but as an artist i would like to also go and perform when the uh, content is out that is how we used to do before like before the pandemic we used to release some songs and then we used to go play those songs at gigs and it it kind of helps you when whenever you put a content and people kind of notice you and they call you up for gigs events and like a lot of shows and things so but putting the content right now is just about like giving a picture to the people but people won't be able to feel the real music you know what i'm saying the live music is what i would prefer than putting out content on youtube yes because that way you're more interacting with the fans and yeah no interaction with the fans yes like it's a face to face interaction with the people we get the immediate response from the people exactly. so this is something and this is, and we we get to see them and we get to see the real audience when we put a content in youtube uh, we don't know who's watching it's just the numbers we don't know actually who's watching from where is watching and everything we cannot see them in real you know what i'm saying so yeah. i would like more than putting out content i i like to perform i like to perform for the people live So how many members in in how many members in psychedelics is it is it a whole organization like a whole it's team? dopadelic it's dopadelic dopadelic i'm talking about psychedelics dopadelic sorry <laughs> yeah so it's uh, right right now it's me and dope daddy so we both are what